hello friends and uh, welcome to this tutorial where i'm going to talk about how to create a web application using jsp and using mongodb as a backend for it when we started exploring mongodb uh, we did majority of our work in php actually so when the opportunity came to do a project uh, with java and MongoDB as in JSP plus MongoDB uh, we could hardly find any resources I mean it was it was surprising actually but that's the way it is there is no book on it uh, there is hardly any articles written on actual web app creation for JSP and MongoDB so we had to research a lot all over the place and hence we came up with or I came up with this demonstration I have also written a book on this topic uh, JSP plus MongoDB combination how to create web app so we are uh, in that book i have talked in detail about uh, all the topics in mongodb and how can you use those uh, facilities in mongodb using jsp code so i cannot make this video a really long one like you know 30 minutes or one hour video so what i'm going to do is uh, there is a book on uh, bbarters.com so the book title is jsp and mongodb uh, I have only written this book. It's it's not re really a book in a sense that it's a compilation of information from variety of sources on internet. But it, it is presented as in book format, like chapter followed by chapter, right? So just visit uh, bbarters.com and uh, be a free barter over there, and uh, then you can read or make use of that book for free, of course. Uh, you can also download the entire source code for that book, JSP and MongoDB, on the bbarters.com only. Alright then, so I'll cover the basics of MongoDB connectivity with JSP and will tell you the web app that I've created. But in order to get a detailed code and detail the instructions or theoretical explanation of all the concepts of JSP plus MongoDB, you'll have to get this book on bbarters.com. Fine, getting back to topic. Uh, here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a small blogging application if you see by the way this is what that book looks like on bwaters.com JSP and MongoDB uh, if you could read this I'm the author so I could always read it okay so this is preface this is kind of list of topics then I could just go through the pages introduction to MongoDB uh, it also has got some videos uh, embedded within the book itself so where you could learn more about mongodb so yeah that's pretty much uh, all about it all right so you uh, get read that book and you can also find the source code at download sections and you'll see jsp and mongodb source code so you can download the source code also you just click on it and it will download it for you all right so i'm getting back to this my web application which i'm creating using mongodb and jsp so this is a simple login form and if you are new user you can sign up I'm just gonna log in now so this is your this is a very simplistic website right I mean I mean I'm, I want to focus on JSP plus MongoDB not the UI design and thing right so write your blog here so I can give some title let's say my first blog and then whatever content okay I support Arvin Kejriwal. Yep, I do. Just donated part of my salary to up and I'm feeling very proud about it. He's my idol. Yeah. Any which way, uh, it, that doesn't concern you. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you could just create that blog and it will list here, right? So, I guess uh, it has gone to second. Where is it? Okay. What title I did give it to it? I don't understand. These are actually the existing blogs which I have written. So, yeah, let's say BD Sakar. All right, back. And yeah, can I just sign out and log in? And see, I can see my blogs. Okay. All right, so it's not appearing here, but let's see. Fine, so what I can do is now sign out, uh, sign in again, and see pictures. Alright, I can also upload the pictures here. This is uh, using the GridFS functionality in MongoDB. So you can choose files. Uh, let's say desktop. 
upload all right so it successfully uploaded i can go back i can view images so it will show me the uploaded images whatever i uploaded right fine so we have used gridfs in this uh, we have used normal blogs in it also all right okay so why this that recently written blog is not appearing is because uh, i have you i also tried to implement paging functionality where i am showing the n number of blogs into it and i guess somehow i set the limit of that paging functionality to some other number so it's not showing in the blocks but uh, that's not the point any which way so what i can do is i can delete one of this yeah all right and then i can see see it is support it is now showing my first block that uh, i support an app in whatever it is yeah so that was the fault a small fault actually you could say if you could say anyway so let's get back to the code uh, the basic uh, you could say purpose of this youtube video is to demonstrate how to connect with mongodb using jsp all right so what i have done is uh, i have written a singleton class called as dconnect.java and this is my project jsp project uh, where are this web content here i have got all the jsp pages that i have used and uh, so there is dconnect.java this is a package which i have maintained in the source folder uh, in the so that i am going to use this class as in all the jsp pages so i have maintained one singleton class for database connectivity so that there is only one active database connection at a time to begin with i'll explain you this uh, singleton class first i have to use this uh, i have to import this package com.mongodb.star so all those packages included in it uh, this uh, dlls or what you could say rar jar sorry jars right so i have got this jars if you could see web inf libs i have this jars here mongo jar and everything so if you download the source code at bbarters.com you will also get this jar so you don't have to do anything extra to install the jsp and mongodb right so if you have these jars in your project uh you are good to go there's there's nothing like installing mongodb for jsp you just have to include this jar in your lib right and that's it and it will get going so if you download the source code you will get this ready made all right so you have to import them then i'm writing this dconnect class uh i'm giving host name as localhost port number is standard mongodb port number 27017 my database name is java blocks and because this is a singleton class i have a static dconnect instance a uh, data member of the same class type which is static right then we use mongo class data member which is called as connection so conne mongo class is a class in that jar the driver mongodb driver for jsp this mongo class uh, represents your mongo connection right so if you see the constructor here this dot connection which is an instance Uh, which is data member of type mongo equal to new mongo and you have to give the host that is localhost and port number so you could also hard code this uh, you could also give the url of your remote host for example you have uploaded your mongodb on cloud like mongo hq or any cloud based uh, mongodb provider so you could also give the url there here instead of this host a uh, port number and localhost you could just give it right and this dot database which is a db class db class comes in the mongodb driver right again db class represents a database in mongodb so this dot database is data member equal to this dot connection dot get db get db is a method and this dot db name db name is uh, java blocks so if the database does not exist it will definitely create one when you say connection dot get db right a very very simple code in the video you might not get everything but it's really simple if you just download the source code and go through it it's very simple there is a mongo class for creating connection there is method called as connection dot get db which gives you the database if database doesn't exist it will create and return the database and to represent database we have db class capital db then i have this static method create instance which checks if there is already a instance existing if does if it does exist then it will it will return the same instance or otherwise it will create a new instance so in singleton class we always keep the constructor private so that you can only create the object using this create instance method and what does it do create instance method is a static method if the object already exist 
right if it is not equal not equal to null then it will return the same instance that the static instance that we have declared here otherwise it will create a new one using the private constructor and return the same we also got a method called as get collection where you can specify which collection you want to work upon inside a specific database so we'll just say you'll pass the name of the collection and that will be returned uh, the collection in java driver or jsp driver in mongodb is represented by db collection class so mongo class for creating connection db class for representing the database and now db collection class for representing a collection so this is get collection method it returns the database uh, collection sorry if the collection does not exist of course it will create the collection and return it right so this is a very simple class dconnect then let's go to login page again if you see i imported all those packages which i need right so you can just copy them down whenever you download the source code and uh, here is my html part of the login page right so if you just see the login page i'll say sign out so this is my login page right this is a small form where i have username password and you know login button so let's go back to code so the form is posted to the same page login.jsp and if i go here here i checked okay so i'm saying string login equal to request dot get parameter login if login not equal to null right uh, so yeah so get parameter is this because the name of the submit button was login right so if login not equal to null that means uh, we have posted the form to the same page we first create the deconnect my mongo right deconnect dot create instance first we create the mongodb instance using that singleton class then we get the collection my mongo dot get collection users so if this collection does not exist it will get created collection and it will return the d collection class so we are collecting in this collection so we have the collection now users collection so i'm just saying i'm getting those two you know form parameters username and password storing them in strings uname and password now this is how i query the mongodb now i'm query in the mongodb to check whether the username and password provided to the form uh, do they exist in my database in my collection sorry or not now i have to use the collection right instead of table right so i use this basic db object uh, this is a this is a class which you use to build an json object in uh, java mongodb driver so basic db object is a class which you use to uh, create a json object so you say basic db object query equal to new basic db object right so you you actually manipulate the collections using basic db object uh, basically it's a kind of db object interface because basic db objects class inter, uh, implements the db object interface and db object interface allows you to interact with mongodb collections in uh, mongodb java driver so basic db objects only implements that db object interface right so i have this query basic db object query equal to new basic db object i am saying query dot put underscore id is my field name and i am passing the value as u name the string query dot put pwd field name password as my value i am just saying i am having one more thing now basic db object where equal to new basic db object where dot put and query so what i am saying is that uh i'm also putting the and part that like i want to have the check the id as well as the password right so i'm just saying db object doc equal to collection dot find one query right so i put this and in between right so i have this the query is like collection dot find one where id equal to uname and pwd equal to password this is kind of like my query so it it will be like this mm, what collection dot find one where if you see underscore id equal to you name us dollar and i'm just writing some hypothetical form you know pwd equal to pwd 
the variable so something like this you this is very simple actually to understand anyway if doc not equal to null that means it returns some document right which matches the query if doc not equal to null that means the user exists so session dot set attribute so we'll set the id of session as username and will redirect the user to create block dot jsp so it will be redirected to create block dot jsp else you will just print invalid credentials very very simple thing so we connected to mongodb using this deconnect class we got the collection users uh, we got the form data we put the query into mongodb collection using basic db object and uh, we executed the query using collection dot find one method and uh, return data set we collected in db object reference doc we checked if reference not equal to null then we redirect him to the create block dot jsp so it's a very very uh, simple thing once you go to create block dot jsp uh, then there is lot more functionality but the code is very simple it's it's really very simple uh, once you download the source code and go through it it is as easy as it gets i mean it's really a java and mongodb and mongodb is a good insert intelligence is also provided in eclipse so you will not find it uh, difficult at all to code and and this source code covers a lot of topics i mean the, if you download the book on the bwaters.com and the source code source code covers almost all the topics uh, of mongodb that you can explore using jsp of course so i do not want to drag this video to go through lots of code but i will just tell you what we have covered in the book uh, that i have written uh, we have covered the map reduce we have covered the the basic uh, what you could say create insert what yeah what those call as operations right which operations delete remove <laughs> crud crud operation sorry yeah we have covered crud of course database connectivity crud then map reduce then aggregation framework then we have also covered grid fs uh, we have covered uh, web analytics then we have covered uh, uh, lots of topics i mean i don't even remember let's see if i can come through this yeah web analytics uh, yeah grid fs then we have covered uh, paging pagination uh, map reduce of course the aggregation framework and yeah like seven eight nine eight topics nine ten all the main major topics of mongodb with jsp all right so i'll conclude the video uh, with the assurance that it's really easy to use mongodb with jsp and it's also easy to use mongodb because you do not need a fixed schema so you can if you are new developer if you are student or if you are new in mongodb you could just start using this and you know you can build a schema as you you know go up or grow on so it's it's amazing i mean it's really easy for development so hope you download or hope you make use of the book um, and download the source code uh, as i told you already it's uh, there on uh, bbarters.com and it's totally free if you become a barter which is also a free thing of course so looking forward to interact with you if you have any questions you can also ask me on bwaters.com uh, you can go to ask authors and you can yeah you can just uh, do that all right then so i'll conclude the video and looking forward to your response thank you